Hey guys, welcome to IELTS Energy TV. I'm your host, Jessica Beck, ex IELTS examiner of 14 years. And today I am going to tell you vocabulary you can use instead of the word some. All right, everyone. Congratulations to three key student, Pawan. Ah, Pawan just got an overall eight on her IELTS exam. I'm so proud of her. Guys, she is going to be on IELTS Energy episode on the podcast, episode 785. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you're not a three key student, remember, you should be. Get in before October 14th, guys. That is next week. That is when our prices will increase for the very first time. Remember, we guarantee that our system will increase your IELTS scores. So go to allearsenglish.com forward slash K-E-Y-S. All right, guys, thank you to subscriber Vicki S for asking this question. She wanted to know what other words she could use instead of some in the following sentence. This essay will shed some light on the factors. All right, in this sentence, guys, you don't need the word some. <laughs> We only want to use words in our writing that carry meaning. The fact is, this word in that sentence is unnecessary. Just say, shed light, okay? We don't wanna be wishy-washy in our academic writing. That means don't use words that are like qualifying words, that are just not strong, right? So omit words like some, someone, somewhere, maybe, might, no. You wanna be very strong in your opinions and your support in academic writing. So just take that out. Um, now, if you need the word some because you need to focus on the fact that it is a small amount, that this is an important idea for your argument, these are other ways you could say that. So in the sentence, only some citizens vote. We could say only few citizens vote, not a few few. If we say it like that, it is impressive grammar because you know that few just means a small amount and it is a um, surprisingly negative small amount. Only few citizens vote. We could also say only a small minority of citizens vote or a scant number of citizens vote. Remember guys, I always type out the vocabulary. Look at the description below the video. Click on show more so you see the full description. And finally, don't wait to become a three key student, guys. If you're taking IELTS in the next six months, get in now. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash my score. And lastly, if you have an IELTS question, ask me in the comment section below. All right, everyone, I'll see you next week with more amazing IELTS tips. Bye, guys. Bonus tip, get a seven or higher with the All Ears English app featuring real-time transcripts and vocabulary practice that will push your score higher. Plus, fun video lessons with Lindsay, Michelle, and Jessica. Download the app today at allearsenglish.com slash app.